Hi there, it's Ruth at Artful Stamping with another weekend ramble and this last weekend has been super duper busy, super duper fun as well because myself and another Stampin' Up! demonstrator, Julie in Shrewsbury, have um, just run a fantastic dare I say it myself, a uh, craft retreat with, we had 24 ladies, it was really really lovely. Now we got all the ladies, actually it was Julie's idea, to make some swaps and although they, some of them balked at the idea and thought ooh, um, they absolutely loved it. I've got to say I think it was probably one of the highlights of the day for them to uh, do their swaps. So we all got in a line and all swapped with each other. So I'm just going to show you some of the fabulous, fabulous things that um, we got. And um, yeah, it's not, all the, not all the swaps are made with Stampin' Up! product. However, um, uh, we asked that at least one thing on there was stamping up so that was great okay so I've just noticed I've got two of these because um, there was a lady who I think made a miscalculation with a swap so I ended up with extras so here we go with one look at this lovely lovely card and I think this has been die cut so this is actually the aperture so she's cut out a heart from there and then put that really pretty rose that's retired and um, that really lovely little sentiment spread the love Okay, so this is the one that I made, and I did this one, uh, I made this on Periscope, so a few people have already seen me making this, but um, um, I might refilm this for YouTube. So it's just a doily that's been stamped with some of the new in colour Flirty Flamingo, and I've just popped a little peg on there. Now inside there are one of the candles that I sell, um, it's a fair trade candle, so if you're interested in that kind of thing, pop to ethicalsense.co.uk and uh, you'll be able to see what you can purchase. Now I've, I've already started eating the chocolates out of this and I don't think this is the chocolate that came out of here but um, I've eaten the chocolate. There was a biscuit in here and a couple of chocolates uh, which I happily consumed watching Eurovision on Saturday night. So this was made by uh, another Stampin' Up! friend of mine. It's really super duper easy to make. It's um, basically a 6 by 6 piece of cut, um, designer series paper that's been folded and then folded in half folded backwards and folded like that and it makes that really cute pouch so that's that one and this one goes this way oh and again I think I ended up with extras of these because someone didn't um, manage to swap with everybody but it's not a pretty card and that's using the butterfly from uh, butterfly basics and this is the gorgeous flower that was available during um, celebration and this is oh this was such a popular flower uh, stamp in celebration 2015 it's the lotus now this was made by one of my newer customers who's absolutely fallen in love with stamping up she really really has yeah absolutely loves love stamping up and she made this beautiful candle box and I'll just show you the candles a little bit more up up close it's four candles four candles ha 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 some of you will get that joke um, and then she's punched out a flower so when you burn it and I think some people are scared that if you burn this then it's going to burn the flower but it doesn't um, it actually just floats kind of to the bottom of the candle as it burns so such a really sweet, sweet present. Great for making favour, uh, sorry, great for favours for weddings, parties and that kind of thing. Here's a lovely card um, made with, I don't think I have this stamp set. It's one of the really gorgeous floral stamp sets that has matching framelets. This is a very bold card using um, that really beautiful flower that's actually retiring. So there's only a couple more weeks for you to order your retiring goodies. And already thinking ahead to Christmas, this is a beautiful sponged background with silhouettes in the front and then that lovely verse. And um, yeah, no, it's really good ideas for Christmas, that one. This is wetlands. Some really beautiful masking here and sponging. There's lovely ducks, or whatever they are. <laughs> and then the, what's that, foliage in the foreground. Okay, and this is a lovely card as well. This is made from a retired Stampin' Up! product, but gorgeous. Beautiful colour. 
Oh, I've seen that one already. Now this one looks like it's been embossed. It's very similar to the swallowtail butterfly that we've we have, but this has been embossed. Um, yeah, and I think she's also. I can open it. I don't know if she's put embossing powder onto one side of the embossing folder, and then. I think she possibly has actually. Yeah, be interested to know how she did that. It's very cool. Here's another pretty one with, oh, my new favourite stamp set, Wildflower. A really cute butterfly. Now this was really clever for a swap. So if anyone's watching who does do swaps, whether you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator or go to crops and swaps and things like that, um, this person has made the card but has left this area free for you to stick your own sentiment or to stamp your own sentiment. I just thought that was such a great idea because um, it's actually really helpful to be able to reuse the swaps. Um, often I repurpose my swaps and make cards out of them and donate them to charity. So sometimes it's nice to be able to put your own sentiment on there. Now this is just so simple and effective. This is the um, what stamp set? Work of art. Just had to glance backwards then. Um, work of art just a great use of that stamp very simple but very very effective and actually I think the lady said that that was the first stamp set that she'd ever bought so I thought that was quite sweet now this is a set of really cute tags I guess you could use them as bookmarks as well but oh I love this stamp set this went a couple of years ago we still have the punch and it's still in the next catalogue which I'm really pleased about it's such a lovely shape Look, she's done four tags. Mm -hmm. Oh dear, sorry, I've got beeping going on at the moment. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. This is a really lovely card made with the bow, the bow punch. <laughs> and the lady who made this said, uh, uh, although she really does love the bow punch, punching out 26, and actually you have to punch out double because you have to punch twice to get to make the bow, was a little bit uh, testing. But um, I think it was worth it. Her swaps are lovely. Okay, this is a really nice um, stamped card. And um, that's a really nice um, use of the flower shop stamp set there mixed with petite petals and then I think that's a butterfly that was in a celebration from a couple of years ago. Oh I also always like little packages because little packages often mean that um, you've got little sweeties yummy 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 so that's the butterfly from um, Ooh, um, the butterfly framelets and this is from a retired um, oh what were they called embosslet type things uh, that were really popular a few years ago but lovely and this is probably made with the envelope punch board or the gift bag punch board either one of those would make that oh and that's come out of a something oh and that's similar to the the other one I've just shown you this is a really, really lovely, very simply stamped card with a little bit of the washi tape and um, sequins. Great use of gorgeous grunge there. We're down to our last few now. This is a nice bookmark. I just think I might use that one to put into my catalogue. Very pretty, lovely use of colour. Um, and I wonder if that might be some of the new in colours. This is a nice one, framing of the um, lotus um, blossom. Now this is using new product. I know this because um, my downline Fran made this one. So this is a little bit of sweet sugar plum, flirty flamingo and dapper denim and emerald envy. And she's used the new uh, dies and stamp sets called... Ooh, I'm going to have a look it up. What that one's called but it's a really really cute stamp set 
Okay, I think I've come to the end of that. Right, well, I'm going to just show you one of the projects that we worked on this weekend. And I, this is how I set it out for the ladies to have a look at um, how to make it. So they were. this was their end result. This is what they were um, making. But their colour schemes were slightly different. Um, I used mint macaron lace for this one. But they had um, tip-top taupe the vanilla satin and a pool party seam binding. So basically they had to cut 21 centimetres of the lace and the ribbon ribbons combined and then just do a running stitch all across there. And I was really kind to them. I went and um, pre-loaded their needles for them so they didn't have to uh, think about threading those up. Then basically that turns into a rosette and then they had to stitch a few little uh, bits to hang down and then stitch it all together with the ribbon and the brooch back. And then they had to stamp onto the muslin bags and then add a little bit of extra stitching and some stitching along the top. Now some of them chickened out, they really didn't want to do the stitching which was absolutely fine but I think all of them went home with a pretty new kind of um, rosette or badge to stick onto their their coats and things so anyway well thank you very much for joining me and um, I hope to be releasing a few more videos on YouTube this week I've got a quieter week I haven't got anything major to prep for so um, thank you for joining me if you don't subscribe to my YouTube channel already please hit the subscribe button and also head over to artfulstampin.co.uk if you want to check out those items that are in the retirement list and we're saying goodbye to forever um, I'm really excited the new catalogue is out on the 1st of June so if you'd like one please go to artfulstampin.co.uk, sign up for my newsletter and just it, within that sign up uh, form let me know that you would like a catalogue. Okay well thank you for joining me and take care. Bye!